Assalamualaikum and very good day to all of you. I hope you keep safe and stay at home during this COVID-19. Alright, let's continue with our class. Uh, but topic today is on equipment for storing and handling bulk solid feedstocks uh, or intermediates and products. All right, let's look at the fact. Yeah? So actually, in process industry, all right, about 50% of all the industrial products are sold in powder. Do you realize that? I think you know about this. Okay, such as we do have like sugar, Milo, all right, uh, the chocolate drinks powder, and then the infant formula powder, uh, the milk powder, and a lot of things. And then most of our food ingredients came came to the food industry is in powder form okay because the powder the the the, the benefit of the powder form is due to the shelf life long shelf life right and it, about 80 percent of the industrial product are made from powder based raw materials so hmm, for you as future india engineer i think one day you will need to design equipment for the powders yeah for the powder yeah so actually engineers are often of, of, of often been asked to design or recommend equipment for storing and handling bulk solids eh, for solid fixed stock for their intermediates and products <laughs> we cannot see this little lady eh? this little funny lady <laughs> okay so uh, the type of uh, of uh, equipment storage, eh? storage equipment for the bulk solids eh, are hopper, bins, bin and silos. Uh, and then uh, for your information, okay, if you further do further reading, all right, actually hopper, bin and silo terms are often are often used interchange interchangeably, okay. Uh, commonly, hopper and bin are used for small storage vessels, and hoppers are typically square or rectangular in shape with an open top for loading purpose. Alright, so this is this this photo shows the examples of hopper, okay, bin. Alright, and bins are typically square or rectangular in shape and smaller in volume than hopper. Right. Uh, let me put here. And bin consists of hopper underneath this part. Eh? Bin. Okay, this we call one unit of bin, and this underneath part. Alright, this underneath part. Uh, commonly been called hopper. Okay. So bins. Okay, for these things, bins may be stationary or movable, and are usually used for short term storage. Uh, bin are used for holding search capacity of bulk materials. So what I mean by search capacity? Sometimes bin are used as an extra storage, alright, uh, to to provide additional capacity. If let's say the conveying system, uh, in the process flow overfits a downstream conveyor. Okay. Uh, generally, capacity of bin var var uh, varies from twenty to one thousand tons. For silo, silo are typically silo are typically a tall vessel, cylindrical in shape with closed tops and conical or mass flow discharge uh, or mass flow di flow discharge bottom. Silo are used to store large volumes of bulk material at the beginning of process or after processing is complete. So silo may be large as thirteen thousand ton. Okay, this example of silo and the storage capacity required for a full load uh, uh, is uh, is required for a full load so as to minimize the transportation cost. So, if you if uh, referring to the previous uh, lecture uh, video, 
All right. Uh, as been mentioned, it depend on the type of transportation being used. Okay. Uh, a size, a size, uh, commonly, uh, the, the size of the silo being set up for 20 to 30 percent larger than the size of the uh, transportation. Okay. So, commonly, the size of the uh, truck eh, being used to transport uh, the supplies. All right. I keep moving my my video here. Okay. Uh, let, let, uh, let me check my note for this. All right. Okay. For, just afraid if I <laughs> miss some of the key point, important key point. Right. So this is a pictures of a typical bulk solids handling operations. All right. So. Common operation of the equipment store, the storage equipment eh, uh, for the bulk solids, okay, it consists of a conveyor, okay, where this conveyor delivers the bulk material, okay, these conveyors, all right, it delivers the bulk materials into this bin or silo, okay, and then uh all right and then this bin okay this part all right this part provides storage capacity yeah storage capacity uh within the flow parts all right and a feeder a feeder underneath here all right for in this case the feeder showing here is a type of rotary rotary feeder okay so this feeder function is to control, okay, to control the solid discharge from the bin. So the solid discharge from the bin. Oh, I'm sorry for this. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to undo this. All right, okay, there it's gone. Okay, so to discharge the solid from the the bulk solid from the bin. Okay, and. Uh, from the bin and then after that it might uh, for somehow okay I say let's say done All right again All right and and the discharge of the father may fit the materials to the next part near the next part of the process so class if you look at here hopper is also used Okay, hopper is also being used. Uh, uh, the term hopper is also being used uh, to uh, to name this part of the silo or bin. Eh? But hopper is also being used uh, as uh, to name the uh, specific unit operation eh, for the storage of bulk solids. All right. Okay, so this I list I list some of the advantage, okay, and disadvantage, okay, uh, of storage by using hopper bin and silos. So basically, the advantage is the great variation of stored quantities, okay, uh, stock product protected from the weather orders because it's encapsulated uh, by the wall of the storage equipment, and then it's reduced handling costs, reduced ground flow space uh, because it normally the 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 it been designed for vertical vertical uh, tanks, and they may be installed outside the building, eh, if especially if you having a big silo. Okay, this is commonly been used to to store a, a, a grain, yeah? and then uh, extension of total capacity by adding new uh, units. Okay, if let's say you need a new unit, you need you have a big supplies uh, for let's say you expand your production, uh, then uh, you can build up another silos. Okay, uh, so you can add up uh, in the future uh, for your expand expansions uh, planning of the factory okay the disadvantage is relatively low flexibility with the exception of mobile bins okay all right so if let's say for the big silo of course is low flexibility then uh, additional equipment required for filling emptying and aeration so what i mean by the additional equipment also silo you need a feeder 
to 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 suck out the powder eh to suck out the powder from the the storage area the storage tank and then significant running cost due to conditioning of stock product maintenance cost especially for auxiliary and installation okay some 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 uh, powder storage they need a blower to assist the flowable of the particles uh, you need of you need to to invest uh, another cost on the feeder and then uh, sometimes you need to have something to be done on the inside the tank to control the humidity all right and then another things okay especially for the dry very dry powder precaution must be taken okay to prevent the dust explosion okay Okay, for discharging powder, all right. So powder handling process is uh, for uh, is actually made of many unit operations. Uh, some complex and some uh, can seem uh, easier, all right. So, uh, but this discharging powder powder is often uh, overlooked. Okay, however, issues in this uh, simple operation can lead. Uh, to huge uh, losses all right so uh, we will i will i will tell more about the problem with uh, powder handling uh, in the next lecture okay let's look in uh, uh, to this slide okay so basically the material flow of the powder is controlled through special arrangement at the lowest part okay here of the hopper okay so for this all right in order for you to, to to get a reliable powder flow and then the powder fast enough uh, uh, flow out from the storage uh, equipment all right and then uh, the uh, you need a special requirement there are special requirement for that okay for example you must know the flow properties okay the bulk solid material flow properties and then it requires uh, a knowledge on the, what is the best angle okay to slide out the powder from the storage area and then the outlet diameter what is the best outlet diameter okay in order to achieve this and then the hopper construction materials okay and then and the next thing that you must must remember that you must able to control the powder flow all right that is another thing eh? <clears throat> okay, feeders use as uh, discharge eh? uh, of a hopper. Eh? Okay, so they are they are feeders. Uh, 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 how to say pump in pump in the uh, powder into the bin you know, or silo. But this one is feeders use uh, as discharge of a, of a hopper. But some of the feeder can be used at both position top and bottom of the storage uh, equipment okay uh, what i mean by top and bottom is uh, inlet and outlet of the storage equipment okay so uh, feeders for these feeders are positioned after a hopper so this to control the discharge and dose the solid if necessary or reach another unit operations okay so the feeder must be designed to draw out the solid of the section of the hopper eh? all right so this is a type of screw conveyor okay you can see that it comes with one set it has motor it has motor gearbox and then uh, inside there there is a, a flight we call they call it screw flight screw screw flight it's like shape of the extruder eh? shape something like that screw extruder so it is commonly used to move and or those uh, products and they are suitable to be used within product causing no or medium abrasions because uh, if rough the product is very hard it can cause a very uh, it can damage the screw conveyor and it's also known as screw feeder okay and it's fitted to a hopper upstream some they call is uh, when it is fitted to upstream okay 
and then the application for food processing, pharmaceutical grain, okay, animal feed, and water treatment slash processing industries. All right. So I have, to, I would like to show this video to you. Okay. All right. Just a shot. Okay. You can, you can view by yourself later on. All right. This video showing uh, the demonstration how, okay, uh, the screw conveyor works. Okay, the screw conveyor works. Okay, you can look at that. Okay, this is screw conveyor. All right. Uh, and then, let's look what happened when there is a powder. Okay, that is how it moves, the powder. All right. Looks, it's emptying the powder. Okay. Okay. I'm having some difficulties to move to the next slide. It takes some time. I do not know why this happened. Okay, next is we look at, at the feeders use. Eh, sorry, look at, at the airlock lottery, the another type of feeders. Eh, you've been used in the storage equipment okay, for the solid powder. So this is being used uh, typically to separate two areas under different condition. Okay, what I mean under different condition if the powder is uh, have a uh, uh, different pressure. Eh? Okay, uh, while letting the solid go from one condition to another. Okay, uh, there are two types available, a drop type and a blow type. So this, this is a multiplication. It's also been used for food processing, pharmaceutical, mining industry, energy plants, all right? Chemical and polymer industries. Okay, this picture showing you uh, the front view. Okay, this is front view and side view of a blow through a star valve. Okay, it's of course also known as star valve, all right? Okay, so the product in from the hopper, all right, and then this is, the, there is a pocket between the blade here, and then by this pocket, when the, 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 the blade is moved, the, the, it will also move the powder. Uh, attach as well the video, okay, let's look together, okay, uh, to simulate how it happened inside the, all right, ah, there, there is it, how it works, eh, inside the star valve, okay. Okay, pause this. We continue to the next slide. Uh huh. Take some time. Okay, next is butterfly valve. Okay, so this illustration show to you the water bluff butterfly valve drawing. Okay, uh, taken from this website, Powder Process Net. I've loved this website. I learned a lot from this website. Okay. Uh, all right. I hope. You explore the website as well, right? Uh, okay. So, actually for butterfly valve, it's simple, robust, and it works globally well with the flow of bulk solids. It is isolated to, it is used to isolate equipment as they can close inlet and outlet of hopper, silo, and containers. And it also can be used to dose the uh, product if positioner or the actuator is installed. The most common type between use in powder handling, this is common type being used in powder handling, eh? uh, and then uh, the, the most commonly being used is wafer butterfly valve. The application is for food, pharmaceutical and chemical industry. All right, the, the simulation of how it works can be viewed from this video. All right, so that is the butterfly just now okay this is how it been installed within the pipe okay okay so when there is a product in okay it will move the butterfly okay if it's if not been locked lah. if it locked it cannot be moved lah. the butterfly will will uh block uh, the flow okay that's it how it works 
Okay, that's why people prefer some some industry they prefer to use the butterfly valve because this butterfly can can function or can be function also to isolate the equipment. Okay, uh, in order to close the inlet or outlet of the hoppers. Eh? So it can pro protect the uh, grain storage from the pests. All right, next. Oh, okay. sorry. Okay, then feeder use. Uh, uh, the other feeder type being used in industry are belt feeder and spiral feeder. Okay, spiral feeder. So belt feeder here, I think it commonly be used for uh, uh, in uh, inlet of the silo, and then this is another one is spiral feeder. Eh? Spiral feeder. Okay. So, another things that you need to know, okay, important for you to know before we learn the how to design the uh, storage equipment for the bulk solid, okay, is uh, the performance of the bulk storage, eh, the hopper, silo, or bin, okay. Uh, the, sto the equipment is sensitive actually to the nature of their content. So, considerations must first be given to the physical okay to the physical properties of the powder uh, with respect to the operational okay with respect to the operational requirement of the system all right so then we can get a reliable uh, uh, flow fast enough flow and it can be controlled right if you can see from this a common problem in storage handling in hand, in the powder handling is uh, when the product is stuck inside the storage equipment and this all can cause uh, great losses eh? because sometimes it can damage the structure of the storage okay class we see next on the next lecture uh, on design okay on design uh, how to design the uh, storage equipment for the powder okay for the bulk solid okay see you again stay safe keep safe stay at home Assalamualaikum. Bye.